Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. Well, it's uh, Masters Week is here, first major of the year, and it's going to be a great field, and uh, everybody's going to be out to win it. We've got a couple people right in, in lieu of a couple things that have been happening at the end of last week, which was uh, in the uh, match play championship they were having with the problems Jason Day was having with his back. So I went in and I started getting online and I found some things where I saw uh, the I have I saw the interview of him uh, the I think it was the second day when he uh, his back spasmed out and he was managed to finish the match and 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 he was being interviewed by by uh, Steve Sands of the Golf Channel uh, after Friday's match and this is what this is what Jason Day said when when uh, after he was done practicing that the next morning. And, Jay, and Steve Sands interviewed him and asked him how his back was. He said, and these are all, this is a quote. I wrote it down verbatim. It's a disc. It gets inflamed. The facet joints lock up and then everything goes into spasms and I can't really move and it's really difficult to play golf. I think any of us that's had a back spasms would, would know that, that that would be correct. Going on, Jason said, I did a lot of therapy yesterday and made sure I... I did the protocols every hour and it feels pretty good. I slept on a heating pad last night. He went on to also say, I came out today, this is the morning of the uh, afterwards and, 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 he, and he's talking about this practice session that he, just, that he just finished and is now doing the interview. I came out today really not knowing if I am going to play or not. I warmed up very nicely on the range and decided to give it a shot. He was, he was, uh, Two up after nine holes, after 16 holes, and won his match that day against Paul Casey, who defaulted as he was sick and could not play anymore. He was two up with two to go at Paul. And Paul Casey, if you've been watching it, if you watched any of that, you know that he was sick the whole week he was there, had, had, had uh, possibly some type of intestinal flu or whatever, and he could barely walk around a golf course. And, and when he got two down, and he, I think he finally reached a point where he just knew he couldn't go any farther. So, but Jason had him two up at that point with two holes to go. So his back was doing better. I remember him saying in the morning, I was watching a little bit in the morning, when he, came, when he first came out and started, and started warming up, he didn't take very long, and he was hitting, he was, looked like he was pretty much in a full bore. And the announcers were saying, whoa, I can't believe he's going in there and, and taking it up that fast. And, and I guess it's like he had to test it. So at this point, I guess you're all saying, what, was, what does the surge, thing about his, uh, the surge think about his swing? And overall, I think Jason Day has a really, really good golf swing. And it's, in some regards, pretty close to peak performance in that it is quite vertical. But, and there's the old big but, all capital letters, here's what I would do if Jason, if Jason would come to me and ask me for some help if he found out that the peak performance golf swing is the body-friendly golf swing, and could I make his swing more body-friendly, which absolutely, all of you who know who've had back swing problems, uh, uh, back problems or whatever, knows I can do. Number one. I think overall his setup is very good. His overall swing is tremendously athletic, probably almost too much ath athletic. I mean, he has great muscle tone. It's obvious he's not holding the club like a baby bird, and it's obvious he's, he's taking a full, and he's ripping at it. And, and I mean, he kills it, and it's obvious as long as he hits the ball. I think, I think he's got good athleticism, he's athletically ready, and, and all of that is very good. I think his stance is a little too wide, as far as setup goes. And I think the ball is way too far back with the driver. I mean, it was almost close to back near the middle. That's going to be causing the problems down the road I'm going to talk about. Okay? So I think, I think uh, we need to, he needs to narrow the stance and, and move the ball forward. His backswing turn. He turns way too much. He's got the classic, he's got the classic turn the back to the target. So at the top of the back, when he gets to the top of the backswing, his, he's got a 90 degree turn. His chest is pretty much back there. His head has moved, his head has moved. He keeps it pretty still in a in position, but it's because on its being on, uh, rotating on the, on the shoulders, the nose is now from looking at the ball at a dress, it's way looking back there. All right? But he does keep the head rather, rather, rather relatively still. He comes just a little bit of inward with his left knee, but it doesn't break in. He maintains pretty much the, the width of his knees, and, and it's wide, and it stays wide. Okay? Now, when he starts his downswing, this is where the problems start to come. He turns, he, he, he's got rather wide, he turns to come down here, and, and he turns hard, and the left leg straightens up a little. It never locks, it stays straight. 
So there's the first problem. Now, because the ball is so far back, okay, he's got to stay back longer. So he's staying back, and by the time, by the time his hands get to impact, he's way back here, and his leg is barely moved in, his right leg, okay? And his left leg is, is straight, but it's not locked. His foot is flat. There's another problem. So I don't think he really, he's got a little bit of a lateral move, but it's more of a, it's, it's, it's more moves left and turns at the same time. I don't see a pure bump and then a turn, okay? So he's got a lateral turn like this, and I think that that big turn is what straightens the leg up. You can't turn this hip without straightening that leg as long as this leg stays in that hip, correct? So he's in here now, and now he's stuck way back here. By the time I see him get his arms all the way to here, his head is still basically down here. Then after that, I guess we could say he has a pretty good Pop-Tart. He comes up, next thing you know, he's up here. But here's where the other big problem comes from. And if any of you watched the videos I did with, with uh, Keenan, Keenan Husky, my, my really good player from, that plays golf at the University of South Carolina and this past summer, uh, last summer he won the, uh, the Carolina Open, uh, Carolina Amateur, uh, breaking the old record by like five shots. And uh, so he's, he's a good player and he's, he's, won some good, he's winning some good tournaments now. But I, I had a, did, a, did a video where I talked about him getting up to his finish. And when he got up to his finish, he was like this and his, and his, and his lead arm was still straight. I'm going to talk about it the right arm because Keenan's a lefty. And this is what, this is what I see in, in, in uh, Jason Day. He's up here and he's all the way up here and that right arm is still straight. In other words, once, once I think the club gets to here, I believe that once it gets here, we start to fold. We have an athletic fold. We just don't let it collapse. We have, it starts folding now, so the hand should come down near the ear. But Jason doesn't do that. He keeps it, he keeps it straight all the way up here until it finally, it just finally collapses around right back there and his arms are way down here. And, and, and at this point, look at, the, look at the angle in my back here. Look at all this. Where's it torquing? Right across the lower back. Okay? And so that's where I think, and then he, and he finishes a little bit to seed. And in the last second, afterwards, when he finally comes over here, he, he comes over, he gets there, and then he kind of pulls it back in front, and that straightens him out the last bit. But the point is, the torque he had in the backswing here, especially in the downswing here, even more so there, and then there. Now, even though those are like split-second things, they keep, they, keep, they keep firing, they keep tightening and loosening, and tightening and loosening. At some point, they don't loosen up enough, and then that's when the spasm really starts to break out. So he needs to get more peak performance in terms of once he gets here, he's got to start with the hip, the bump, the true bump, which is at, towards the target, then turn. Then he's got to do what? He's got to get here. He's got to turn. He's only turning to 90 degrees, uh, 70 degrees, excuse me, with the left arm shafts over the toe line here. He does stay a little short. At least the swings I looked at on the internet, I pulled him up and looked at him. He was maybe that far short of short of parallel. So the parallel would be right here and he was about right up there. But he's solid and he's firm right in here. He's got all that which is good. So he's got to get from here. Once he gets up here, turn only to there. He's got to get, he's got to start with the true bump, get to there and then stand up like this. But he's got to really get that fold, get, start folding here, not folding when his arms been straight all the way up to there. He just does those things and I think he'll see, he'll kiss his back, back spasm goodbye. And he'll not only hit the ball just as solid and straighter, and probably just as long, or maybe even longer, but he's, he's going to see his, his flight patterns tighten up on both the, from his driver all the, way to, all the way to his wedges. So he's got a great swing. He's just, he's just got a very, very, very stressful swing that he adds more stress to it with the, with the firmness and the hardness and the speed at which he tries to swing it at. And again, I think he could find that he gets PPGS. He'll hit it just as far, swing just as fast, but the swing won't look anywhere near as tight and tense and, 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 and uh, uh, you know, like he's just swinging too hard. It'll come, everything will start to look a lot more smooth and flowing because his muscles will all be able to stretch properly, stretch and, 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 and then move and change directions a lot better and a lot smoother. Okay? Well, that's the surge's take on Jason Day. Wish him and everybody at the Masters good luck this week. And being number two in the world, and he's been playing really hot lately and playing well, he's going to be definitely one of the major contenders. Well, that's it for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.